Welcome to Card of the Day, where we talk about Vice Versus Cards of the Day. We are getting a new Bang Dream set this month, so let's jump right in. Here we have Stage Toyama Kasumi, a 2-1 red backup. She is plus 2,500, and she is an anti-early drop. But goddamn, you gotta discard two cards for the cost? You're gonna be going through so much hand advantage to get this effect going. I mean, you can use this, or even this card to salvage it, but you gotta pay more resources to get them back. Maybe you can play or trigger this Climax and get them back, but no thanks. I'd rather just play Caveman Vice and beat cute anime girls with other stronger cute anime girls. Here's the thing inside storage, which is just this card with the new art. Here's the sound of the beginning Toyama Kasumi. She's a 3-2 red pop and party music character. And on play from your hand, she does heal. And then you pay to, and then you discard a red card. And when this card declares an attack with a Climax Star Beat, on your Climax border, you may pay the cost. If you do, you deal X damage to your opponent, and this card gets plus 3,000 power until the end of your opponent's turn. Which is good, the buff does stay. And X is equal to the amount of the things inside the storage in your waiting room. This damage can be cancelled. So like, at a level 3, you most likely have refreshed your deck. I mean, the events are free to play, but you do have to do the whole effect of it, and then you might, fuck, might even trigger a new deck refresh. Although it is nice that this card does allow you to dump something from your hand onto the waiting room, so at least you could probably get rid of one of the events, giving you at least one extra point of damage. Compared to the old level 3, it is slightly better because it does heal, although the other level 3 does let you draw 2 and ditch 1. And you know what, you could even play the, this level 3, use its climax combo to play this, because you could just drop it anywhere onto the stage. And because this card's effect triggers when it declares an attack, it still counts when this card brings it out onto the stage. So by itself, it's okay, but when you pair it up with the level 3 that we got now, that's pretty good. Up next is Sharing Happiness Hanazono Tai, a 0 0 blue poppin' party music character. She has a global 500 for all your music characters, and her other ability is that you send hearing a guitar for the first time from your waiting room, put it on the bottom of your deck, rest this card, then you choose a character and it gets plus 1500. So you play this, early drop this, then you play this, get the boost, use the effect, send the event back to your deck, give the buff to this, then you could just run over anything. The next turn you play this, get the event, and do it all over again. And those are all the cards that we have today. Huh? There's more? So these cards are gonna be in the extra booster set, which uh, pretty much we get the rest of the girl bands in this set. And I, <laughs> I honestly don't wanna talk about them because I, I don't like their music, honestly. Roselia is just Evanescence. Pastel Palace is annoying. Hello Happy World is just no. After Glow it's sick though, but they're like generic Japanese radio rock, so I don't know. I'll just talk about the cool cards. The only sound I hear Shirokane Ryoko is a level assist times 500, and you rest it, draw one, ditch one. It isn't on play, so it could help you go through your deck and potentially grab one of your combo pieces. Chosen Swimsuit Shirokane Ryoko is a global 500 for all your music. Pay one, send a level zero or lower character to the bottom of their owner's deck. Spot removal. It's great, although it does kind of suck that it needs to be on the center stage, but hey, whatever. Indispensable Existence Imai Lisa? I think it's Lisa. It's pretty tight, it does this, and its climax combo can make it go up to 7,000, and when it reverses a character, you search your deck for a music character, and then this card gets paid to for its encore until the end of your opponent's turn. Pastel Palette requires you to run all four colors, so I'm gonna skip that. No More Hesitation Mitake Ran says that when you have six or more stock, it gets plus a thousand, and green discard Encore. I mean, it's a pay two, so it's... Yeah, it sucks. But its climax combo is when the climax is played, just throw it on the field, send up to two green characters from your waiting room, throw them in your stock, so it can trigger even if you have one green character, which is good. This would have been amazing if it was a green stock soul, you know, the climax. But it's not, so it's just okay. You could have plussed a bunch, but at least when you trigger it, you do blind stock the top of your deck. So there's that. Here's a funny counter. You can only play it if you have two or more music characters, because it states on the card that you have one or fewer, you can't play it. So if you control one of each of the Roselia girls, you can activate one of these effects, but you could do it twice. And if you don't, you just pick one, do it once. Those effects are choose one of your opponent's characters, it gets minus one soul, so it doesn't even need to be the attacking character, so that's cool. 
Choose one of your battling characters that gets plus 3,000. Holy shit, that is a lot for a level 1 backup, but it does make sense because it does kind of have that restriction. Slash effect, did you search your deck for a music character? Put it in your hand. That's a fucking insane counter, but then again, you do gotta have like two or more music characters, which honestly, that's not really a restriction. Stage meet out of Yukina lets you pay one and you get this card out of your waiting room, and this card gets plus 2000 during your opponent's turn. She heals from hand or when this card gets changed, and when this card attacks, you give plus X to a music character, where X is the number of the music characters you control times 500. Okay, now it's the end. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Vice Shorts news and content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.